Now more than ever, don't you just want to get away from it all? Yes, and you can with a cabin up north. Here with an update on the cabin scene and a few properties worth checking out. We want to welcome back via Skype Julie and Daniel DeRoche from the DeRoche Realty Group and EXP Realty. Hi, guys. Hi friends. Hello. hello, hello. This is, I mean, I am really seeing more people on social media say, hey, surprise, we bought a cabin than I have ever seen before. Now, you guys are the realtors. Is this what you're seeing with your clients? It's the busiest cabin season we've seen in a long time. Wow. Long time. By far, by far. Okay, so people, are people just feeling like COVID is never going to end, and so they're yeah, just ready to do Yeah, is that what's going on? I think so. <laughs> I think what's happening is, you know, they still people still want to get away. They maybe don't want to jump on a plane to go somewhere or take a long trip, so they want a cabin that they can go to and retreat to and have some fun still this summer. I wonder if people are also realizing, though, they like this slowdown and this spending time sure. with their families. And so next summer, it's like, let's not do 85 sports. Let's really, like, let's hang out continue a little bit. this Plus, family Daniel, time. you got to think of it this way, too. People are, so many people are working from home now at least a couple of days a week. So now you could head up. You don't just have to do, like, Friday evening to Sunday night. Mm -hmm. You could extend that as long as you get some level of Wi-Fi, I would imagine. Yeah, I think the average uh, person's more working Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday now and spending <laughs> Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday at the cabin. So Unless they're you guys. You guys are probably working nonstop. Okay, so let's um, take a look at some of these cabins that you want to show us. Daniel, there's one in Crosby. Crosby is such a great spot, too. Let's talk about what you can get there and how much is this going to cost you. I love the look of this. Yeah, it's super cute, and it truly is a log home. It's not like... Some of the log homes are, you know, fake logs on the outside and sheetrock on the inside. This is truly a log home. 475 grand, three bed, three bath, one and a half story. Oh, wow. That's almost 2,500 square feet, vaulted throughout, open kitchen, uh, almost three acres, 260 feet of lakeshore. Whoa. Private master bath, nine foot ceilings, loft style. You know, it's even got a custom sauna. It's, it's a walkout. It's awesome. That strikes me as a low price for that because, like, when I read 2.84 acres on Perry Lake, yeah. the fact that you're only at 475, and frankly, I think, okay, maybe that means it's going to be some sort of a rundown cabin you're going to have to put a lot of work into. This you could go turnkey. there with your family this weekend and just enjoy that place. Yep, we actually ended up in multiple offers, sold it for uh, a really nice price. Yeah. It is a little bit of a smaller lake, so it depends what people are looking for. Like, That's Julie right. and I, we're there by a cabin. We want uh, a lake that we can go to a couple restaurants on where if we have company out we can boat to a restaurant and entertain whereas this one you actually have to go into town for that okay so that's important to remember is what's Other your factors. style yeah. what are you thinking about how do you want to spend the time but boy, boy that's great okay let's go to cross lake now i know cross lake's going to be spendy um because cross lake is like <laughs> the destination so it's up on the whitefish chain and okay. it's up by brainerd okay this is where my best friend's family cabin is there and they bought, you know, she, they bought just a plot of land and then continued to build on it. And then you end up with these monsters. What's this guy all about? Well, this one is on Daggett Lake. And to Daniel's point about if you want a lake where you can boat around to different places, this is on the Whitefish chain. Super desirable. I think one of the most desirable chains in Minnesota to be on. And you can boat to restaurants, you can boat to other lakes. I mean, there's so many areas you can boat to from this one lake that that's what really makes this price tag high on this one. It's seven sixty nine nine. So Ooh. we're jumping up quite a bit on price. Yeah, that's expensive. But what I mean, is it the same kind of footprint? Can you bring the same amount of people? Three bedrooms, I guess. It's two bedroom, two bath, so a little bit smaller. Yeah. Three bedroom, two bath, one and a half story. It's a twenty two hundred finished square foot house. Has a really great big a detached four car garage that has an unfinished area up in the attic area so someone could come in finish that area off and do like another guest suite up there or another bedroom up there in bathroom right. to get another bedroom and bathroom yeah i'll tell you what even though it doesn't have like a ton of uh bedrooms if you're looking to have a big party up there you got to love those vaulted ceilings it, it just gives you the illusion of so much more space even in the same footprint that it happens to be all right that is a uh, that's quite nice, that's but again, that takes you back seven sixty nine. Yeah, and then you're going to go buy fourteen dollars sandwiches at the wharf every weekend. And so that's I mean, whole you got to have a real budget. Not to mention your gas <laughs> and up the pontoon boat at that point. It's a whole thing. You got to tip those guys at the gas station. Uh, <laughs> these are the extra expenses you need to think about. Now, if you are in the market for a uh, million dollar plus cabin, I suppose you don't care about those ancillary details because you're already ready to spend a lot of money. Daniel, take us to Spicer and let us see how the other half lives. Woo. Well, one of the really nice things here is it's a really quick drive. You know, depending on traffic, you're an hour. Well, depending where you are in the city, you can be under an hour to this place. Wow. And it is 
It's beautiful. 1.175. It's huge, though. Six bedroom, four bath, two story. F again, full log home. Uh, like 5,300 finished square feet, four Whoa. car garage, just shy of an acre. Uh, 182 acres or 182 feet of lakeshore on Green Lake, which is one of the really the cleanest lakes in the area. Uh, it's custom built by Rocky Mountain Homes. Uh, it's all 12 inch logs. It just look at those views, just amazing views. There's four fireplaces in this place, 26 foot vaults, uh, four season porch. Um, oh, there's five bedrooms. It's just, it really is everything. It's a true lake home resort type feel. It is like having a full resort. So are people buying these with the intention of they're going to use them all the time? Are they thinking about airbnb them or VRBO so that they can, you know, get a little bit of yeah, their investment back there. too? What's the, what's the plan for a lot of your clients? We're getting a mix of both. You have people that just want it to be their place. Like to your point earlier, they're not taking those longer trips away. They're just kind of wanting to simplify life and slow down. And then we have people that see it as a great investment opportunity. They're gonna buy it, they're gonna use it, you know, some part of the summer, and then they're gonna rent it out for the rest of the summer. Goodness gracious. Well, that'd this be fun. It, wouldn't it be fun to say, I'm, gonna, I'm looking at a cabin, what's your budget? 1.1, 1.2. <laughs> for my second home. For my second, <laughs> we'll be there about eight weekends a year, it'd be a blast. Hey, uh, Julie Daniels, always nice to see you guys. Thank you for joining us. If you at home are maybe looking for a cabin up north or a place closer to town, uh, Julie and Daniel, they can help with both. I love that Spicer location though, now we're Jeez. away. Hello, go to TwinCitiesLive.com, click on fun for Julie and Daniel's contact information. And thanks to DeRoche Realty Group and EXP Realty for sponsoring Twin Cities Live. And by the way, they will help with not million dollar homes. Yes. I mean, we bought a not million dollar home yeah. and Julie was our realtor. We she sold a right real not million dollar home. You didn't get a million? And that? we, no. See, and they I felt us like both. it was worth it. But <laughs> yeah, sure you know, you it did. turns out 1,100 square feet doesn't go for a million around well, here. What is the deal with that? <laughs> get that back on Skype. Coming up, Wednesday.